Hi, it's Megan. I'm here with Solo Luna Yoga and today we are on day six of the cleanse and what we're doing today is uh, pumpkin uh, aiote uh, soup. So I've got a roasted, um, it's kind of like a squash little pumpkin down here. So you could use a butternut squash in the States um, or in Canada if you don't have access to um, this variety of uh, pumpkin. Um, it will work just the same, the butternut squash. So I've roasted it. All I did was put it on this pizza pan with a little bit of, of water and then a little teeny bit of olive oil and a little teeny bit of salt. And then I just bake it on 375 for about 35 minutes um, until the top gets a little bit caramelized as you can see here okay and then what I've done here is I just um, cooked a little bit of fennel and ginger I'm um, just sauteed in a little teeny bit of water just to soften it so when I blend it it will all um, come together uh, the other thing that we have here is uh, fresh coconut milk that I've made so you can get a can of coconut milk from the supermarket and that will will work just fine for you obviously not having access to the fresh coconuts and such so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna scoop the squash, the pumpkin out of the shell here. And the, actually the, the, the skin on this is, is edible as well, but I'm not gonna put it in the soup, but you can actually eat it. It's really pretty yummy. Um, so we're gonna put our pumpkin in. So this is gonna be a nice kind of, again, we're working with more of the bata dosha this week. So sweet, sour, salty being the, the flavors. So we've got kind of sweet grounding um, element of the pumpkin. Vata has a lot of kind of air, air and space. So definitely want to use a lot of grounding foods and especially the first week um, during this cleanse because your body tends to kind of go into a little bit of like a sugar freak out. So it's kind of good to give yourself just some, some natural kind of grounding um, foods that have a little bit of sugars to them and slowly wean yourself up so you don't go into like a massive detox all at once. Okay, so a little scoop from here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do half, I'm gonna do two blenders full because it's not all gonna fit in one. So I'm gonna use half of my fennel and ginger. And so fennel is really good for digestion. Um, ginger as well and using a lot of different things that are intended to help detoxify the liver as well like the turmeric You've seen me use that in pretty much every soup this week. Oh, I just put the whole thing in there Well, it won't matter because it's all going in the soup pot. Okay, so That's half of this Cayenne a little bit of cayenne just a little bit of spice salt and again, I've told you guys I don't do measurements and like I said, I'd rather have time to possibly surf or do yoga so I don't want to spend all my time in the kitchen measuring everything. Um, so you can just uh, season to taste, just don't go excessive on the salts and such. And uh, as far as measurements with the soups that we've been preparing this week, just, you know, just use your imagination a little bit. It's, can't really mess it up. Okay, so now we're going to blend it. this in the pot. 
And so again, I'm cooking for a few people, so obviously you can you can you know adjust the increments depending on how many people you'll be cooking for. You know, like for one person, a small butternut squash uh, would be perfect, and you may have you know leftovers for the next day a little bit. And that's what we've been doing with these soups. Is I'll make one, and then you know a pretty big pot, and we may have a little leftover for the next day to kind of start the day with or have for lunch. And that's totally fine to do. Um, and again, we're doing this along with um, probiotic smoothies, um, some fruit. We're trying not to go too excessive on the fruits. Don't want too many sugars. And then um, green juice smoothies. And then the other thing is just doing healthy, uh, clean green salads. You know, um, it's basically just a nice clean salad. And I like to just use. Uh, some lime or lemon and a little teeny bit of olive oil, salt for seasoning. Don't want to use any type of heavy dressings or anything like that. And tomorrow we'll be having our weigh in and measurements and see how we're doing for the first week. Hopefully, good. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, coconut milk. This is one of my favorite soups. As long as you don't put papaya in it, you're in good shape. <laughs> So next week we'll be moving on to the pitta um, dosha, which is fire and water. And so we're going to be doing kind of a lot of more cooling foods, some more salads, a little less soups, because uh, that particular dosha has a lot of heat in it. And so we want to kind of cool it down as opposed to heating it up. pumpkin soup for day five, fennel, a little bit of ginger, turmeric, cayenne, salt, and pepper. And then I'll stir this up and we'll just place it on the stove and have it a little bit later. Okay. My lovely mess here. Thank you so much and have a lovely day. <laughs>